turns out lying about these things not such a good idea oh guys he's coming to grips with the fact that he lied he's apologizing and he's going to do a clean slate let me tell you guys something about well borderline sociopaths like liver king <laughs> Folks, I'm Dr. Mike for RP Strength. I've been a professor of sport and exercise science for a long time. I'm a competitive bodybuilder and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu grappler. And I have a bit of a history hobby. And I've been familiar with the old kings of antiquity. Kings like Nebuchadnezzar. Kings like King Louis, the one through however many of the Louis there were. And a few of my favorite kings are actually anatomical kings. It's confusing, I know. There's Toenail King. Uh, you should check out his OnlyFans as soon as you can. Um, Spleen King, strange flex, but I'm in for it. Pancreas King is really dope. Brain King, a lot of good advice, but no one ever defeats the one true king, the Liver King. And for the first time ever, we are reviewing the Liver King's diet and training and ancestral tenets or whatever sociopath make-believe bullshit that he lies to you about while taking copious amounts of steroids. Let's get into it. I failed as a young man. I can believe that. I failed as an evolutionary hunter. That doesn't mean anything, but very well. I think everyone fails at that. Scott, I prefer a non-evolutionary hunter. What? Are you the f***ing predator or some shit? An entrepreneur. I couldn't even make payroll. That's true. A lot of us have been there. But you bounce back by lying to people. I love it. Classic success story. Ancestral living saved my life. And weird. You can monetize on it. My boy's life. That kid looks like he's having no fun. My wife and my marriage. It uncaged the evolutionary hunter that I was born to be. Damn. I didn't know evolution had kettlebells and backpacks and backwards hats in it. Learn something new every day. Hey, Darwin. Yeah, yeah, wake up. Evolution's wrong as you described it. The Liver King will take over now. Scott the Video Guy, can you do me a real quick favor? Can you Google a picture of Charles Darwin? A few moments later. Can you assess in your Scott the Video Guy uh, magic, who's got the more baller beard? I think Darwin's got a beard by a couple inches and a pure white. Yeah, sorry, Liver King. There's levels to this shit. The OG stays the f***ing champ. The frame remains the ancestral tenants. Whoever does his... Uh, Captioning, f that up. Tenants are people that live in a house that you rent out to them. Tenants are basically principles or postulates. Good job. Fire your TikTok guy. So the nine ancestral tenants are these forces that have nourished us and shaped us to epigenetically express. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Epigenetically, my man. It used to be intellectually impressive for people to just say genetics or heredity, but that's so 1982. Now it's epigenetics. Anytime actually you go online and you make a claim that genetics has a factor of this, this, and that, someone's like, yeah, but like, doesn't epigenetics kind of disprove that? No, you have no idea what epigenetics is. And Liver King, you also have no idea what it is, but it is a cool uh, intellectually sounding word to use to make your bullshit seem palatable. Let's see what more bullshit you have to tell us. It's enabled us to become the baddest mammalian predators that ever lived. Holy shit, is that backwards? Guys, I'll tell you exactly what allowed us to become the baddest mammalian predators that ever lived. It is the opposite of primal. It is modernity. If I send you out on a hunt to get food for your family, do you want a f***ing sighted in AR with a f***ing infrared scope? Or do you want a f***ing rock? The f*** up out of my face. Humans got so good at hunting, they started farming and stopped hunting. Modernity is what made us the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Our fucking brains, not primal dog shit reverse. Do you know who's way more primal than you'll ever be? That fucking coyote that comes around your backyard every now and again and looks like he's fucking starving and one of his legs is clearly fucking broken. He's way more primal than you'll ever be. The more primal you try to get, the worse you get at everything. I assure you, modernity is undefeated. Fuck you, Liver King. God damn it, Scott, I have high blood pressure. So these are the nine ancestral tenants. All right. At least they spelled tenants right this time. Nine ancestral tenants. Let's value it each one. Move is perhaps the easiest of them all. We're doing it here. Moving is, is really more about making sure that you stay moving. Is that a redundancy or a tautology? I can't even tell at this point. 
is we just go walk around the block and we walk around the block again. Hey, Liver King, will I get to looking like you by walking around the block? Thanks. We walk around the block again and we take a backpack with us and we carry something heavy. Did you guys know what they didn't have in primal ancestral times? Backpacks. Crazy. We carry it on the back or we carry it in the front or we carry it on the side. You're not carrying it on top of your head? How dare you? 70 pound kettlebell, 70 pounds in a backpack, 120 pounds on top of a sled, 20 pound ankle weights, one mile, a f***ing hell. Train the barbarian, test your barbarian, and cage your mother barbarian! I'm glad the barbarians had uh, wrist wraps carrying kettlebells for long distances. Stupid and f***ing pointless, and you can spend way less time getting into much better shape if you do compound, barbell, dumbbell, and machine basics. But you may notice a problem. By design, your forearms are almost never going to be as strong and be able to lift the weight that your well-developed shoulders can, your well-developed back, and your well-developed legs. If you're doing stiff-legged deadlifts, bent rows of any kind, pull-ups, pull-downs, any kind of upright rowing and any kind of dumbbell lateral raising, you may notice that your grip gives out first. To that, we have the ultimate solution. We are trying to get you guys to buy something that, unlike Mr. Living King's products, actually help you. And guess what? You don't have to buy it, and there's no compelling reason to do so. But if you want the option of having much better training, the Versa Grip is where it's at. It's basically a strap that you tie around any barbell, dumbbell, or machine, and it is so well made with some kind of mystery material that I think they got out of a nuclear reactor in the Soviet Union in 1986. I think that's where it came from. It's so f***ing sticky, no matter what, that as soon as you wrap your hand over it, there is no more limiting factor for your grip. So you can push your back, your leg training, your shoulder training to the moon, and train your grip in other ways in your own free time. Versus grips are f***ing awesome, and this is as genuine of an endorsement as you're ever going to get because I use them all the f***ing time in training, and so does everyone I know that knows shit. Uh, Liver King doesn't have him, he's a f***ing cunt. Am I allowed to say that? I just did. F*** you, Liver King, Versa Grips are sweet. Link in description. So eat in the big city is also an extension of what we normally do back home. Does he mean on his mega ranch that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars where he lives in Texas? Or some imagined primitive ancestral home? Never can tell. I guess in his mind, that's the same thing. The, the biggest things are making sure that you cut out all the crap, all the processed foods. This is a man that injects hormones into his body. You don't get much more processed than pharmaceutical grade growth hormone. But I digress. Here comes the food. I want to kill myself. That's a good one, Mike. Oh, God, his fingers. Oh, God, he's putting his hands on it. Please don't eat it like that. Please don't eat it off the fucking wooden table with your dirty fucking and fingers. Guys, by the way, I don't think he uses soap because soap hor hormonally disrupts you or whatever. Oh, God. Oh, God, Scott, is this really going to happen? Ugh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This fucking gross ring and his stupid fat fingers. <sighs> going to go ahead and have a little baby duck. Oh, hey, Filipinos do that. It's called balut. It uh, depends on a uh, really good, good, good test of how Asian you really are. If you can eat balut, uh, you're really f***ing Asian. If you can't, doesn't matter what you look like or what language you speak, you're kind of white. Um, all right, we eat the baby duck. Very primal. Hit it. For dessert. If you'd eat a duck, you'd eat a duck. And then I have delicious patties. Mm. Oh, that's good. Are those patties cooked? That's not primal. Bro team, oxtails, the king plate, ball of king, liver king bar. Oh, a liver king bar and supplements. It's a liver king for dinner today. Gross fucking shit on his beard. I've never seen a more punchable person in my life. Good God, I don't give a fuck what liver king is having for dinner. Hey, liver king, eat a fucking cock for dinner and not in the fun way, motherfucker. God damn it, that was awful. How do we maintain nose to tail, horns to hooves, and bones to blood? Well, I'll tell you what you gotta do. Nose to tail, horns to hooves, bones to blood is peak white people nonsense. White people just run out of problems in their lives and they are quite anxious, so they make belief problems into existence. Like, hey, Karen? Yeah, Lucy, what's up? Like, 
Do you think we're like not eating like the whole animal? You mean like the natives did? Like, yeah, it's like so good for you. Like, oh my God, we should totally do that. And we can open up like a restaurant that's like fair trade and does like nose to face or hooves to asshole or whatever. Like, oh my God, let's do it. Ah. That's it. That's how that idea came to be. Shields is one of my favorite tenants. And what we're trying to shield from are other dangers that are slowly and insidiously killing us. And so what I would say is start by turning off the Wi-Fi at night. Why? Stop wearing perfumes. Why? Stop wearing petrochemical clothing, also known as polyester or non-native clothes. Start with those three things. Why? Look up the empirical research on the negatives of all these and you'll largely find diddly dick. Or plenty of studies that say none of this matters. Guys, Wi-Fi is not bad for your health. Believe it or not, the incentive structure around companies that build Wi-Fi architecture for them to make sure it's not bad for you is so f***ing insane, so high stakes that they did their due diligence. They really did. They even did more due diligence than the liver king himself, or as I like to call him, Brian, Brian Johnson. That's your fucking government name. That's what I'm calling you. To, uh, to quote Eddie Murphy from uh, Coming to America, mama gave him that name. I'm going to use that name. We're using shielding material to make sure that it's shielding us. So we use like a Faraday material over a router. Okay, this is officially tinfoil hat bullshit. In the, in the hotel room. You bring Faraday material with you to fucking cancel out radio waves? You wrap it around fucking routers? You can't unplug the router and turn it off? Or does the hotel staff think that's fucking weird? Fuck. I mean, I guess if you really want the Wi-Fi to stay the fuck away from you, you just sleep in a Faraday cage the whole time which if he was in a Faraday cage all the time, that would be dope. And also, does he know that the cameras he's being filmed on are emitting all sorts of electromagnetic radiation? Also, does he know that the sun is a thermonuclear bomb that emits so much toxic shit? Nothing scales up to it in our actual world. But he earlier recommended to get a bunch of sunlight, which is shooting literal radiation at your body. It gives you a bunch of stuff like skin cancer, which if I was Liver King, I'd be watching out for. Just kidding. I don't think he's actually red from a sunburn. That's just the abuse of trenbolone acetate. That's what we in the industry call a trend tan. What do you recommend to get cold? Scott, is cold one of the principles? Yes. The tenets? Yes. Huh. If you look around, everyone's wearing a jacket. It's not that complicated. Take off a jacket, take off a shirt. What? But it's cold outside, you dumb asshole. Not all of us are on 400 micrograms of T4, you fucking liar, drug using piece of shit. And look, I used the most effective muscle growth training app ever made. Get yours now. But everyone knows, and I'm not trying to lie to you motherfuckers about it. The Liver King was caught up in that whole bullshit, and I think he's still digging his way out. We'll help him dig in reverse. And then when you get really cold and you're shivering, you've done it. You've created the stimulus to create a response, to create an adaptation, to be stronger, to be better, because you did it. No, motherfucker, you just get cold. And then if you're used to being cold a lot, you handle being cold better. The result of that is what exactly? Don't say stress. If you need more stress in your life, you're not working hard enough at your job, working hard enough in your relationships, and sure shit, not working hard enough in the gym. All you gotta do is train really fucking hard in the gym, get plenty of steps, eat generally healthy food, get plenty of sleep and rest, have lots of fun in your life and balance and recovery and relaxation and human relationships, and you're fucking golden. You're 99.999% of the way there to being your best self. Just taking off your clothes and getting uncomfortably cold, which he's not, by the way, because he's talking at a normal pace. He's not shivering. Also, he has visible veins, which will disappear when you're actually getting cold. Is just just peak fucking bullshit. It's just make believe. I can't believe we're doing this on the channel, Scott. Sacrifice my body after this, but do it primally, please, with liver or something. All right, folks. If you're having a good time and learning something, you can have an even better time in quote unquote, learn some more stuff. If you join our member section where you get the full extended unrated edition of Liver King, where probably I'll just say more things involving ethnicity, usually at my own expense. So if you like that, join our member section and you get tons of other awesome informative videos along for that ride. Oh, look, all of their clothes are manufactured and not ancestral. Interesting. Do we normally go on this date every Sunday to get cold? Going on dates to get cold. Interesting. Shrivel up the cock. I love it. Time starts now.
She looks like she's not having so much fun. Calling me crazy. You want neurocognitive health? Neurocognitive? Someone's like, hey, do you want cognitive health? You're like, no, what the f by itself? What are you, crazy? It's like just like a plate of mashed potatoes with no meat. Like, do you want neural health? Like, what are you, nuts? Next, you're going to give me a hot dog with no bun. Like, what do you, be, oh, hold on. Neurocognitive? Like, oh, well, that's just the kind of word salad that convinces me to buy your stupid ancestral supplements, sir. Well, gee whiz, mister, I'll take five. Oh, boy. Get cold. Now we're dating in an icy lake, getting better, growing, expanding the proportion of our love. Well, technically, the most pertinent portion of your love is getting contracted at this point. I'm sure you'll appreciate that joke. But um, yeah, I don't know whose idea this was. Also, this isn't a date. This is a photo shoot where you're doing this vertical for TikTok so that you can get likes and clicks and people buy your supplements and you get rich. What am I saying? Here's to the next 20. Hey, queen. Hey. Scott, this woman needs rescuing. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. She's like, hi, oh my God, fucking kill me, please. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Folks, this is fucking wild. I guess she's not in as much T3 as he is. He's eating ice, you guys. Liver King is the definition of like a bombastic charlatan scammer. He's just going to do anything crazy and kooky to get your attention. So you click and like and send links to your friends and go, look at this guy. He's so fucking weird. And one of your friends is a fucking dupe, Mark. And they're going to be like, oh, make some good points. I'll buy his supplements and make him rich so he can buy tens of thousands of dollars of steroids every month. Check out those emails. That shit is real, by the way, to make him look like this. So it's not all ancestral, is it? Turns out lying about these things. Not such a good idea. Oh, guys, uh, he's coming to grips with the fact that he lied. He's apologizing and he's going to do a clean slate. Let me tell you guys something about, well, borderline sociopaths like Liver King. They have no problem lying after they've lied and been exposed. They do the same kind of apology you'd expect from any decent person, and then they go on to do the same general category of lying. There is no limit to that. It's like cheat mode in a f***ing shooter video game where you just don't run out of ammo. People like Liver King can apologize 1,000 times and lie 1,001 times. Anyone of any remote intelligence and enough of an incisive ability to f*** people over can do that. I can do that mostly because I'm Russian. We all can. But at least I'm telling you that's how it works. Liver King won't tell you that's how it works because it f***s his business model. Liver King looks like this still means he hasn't come off of f***ing shit. Those vials, probably empty ones that he just threw away, he's got more vials in the fridge and in the f***ing back compartment, and that's just going to be how it is. Tough lessons learned. He didn't learn any f***ing lessons. He learned zero f***ing lessons. He's still on f***ing steroids. Look at his red veiny pecs, goddammit. I had to step away from two businesses I started from scratch. That just plain sucked. As a family, we visited with the Mongolian eagle hunters. That wasn't just something he said, and I'm losing it. I'm having a stroke, right? Mongolian eagle hunters. Aren't eagles protected? I guess not in Mongolia. And the modern-day Toltec tribe. This brought us closer together and bonded spiritually. Scott, look at her face. Do you see her eyes kind of move side to side a little bit there? She needs help. 19 years with my queen. We celebrated this year. Dude, her eyes, bro. Holy shit, this is intense. I wasn't ready for this kind of shit. Blink twice. I love you, my queen. Uh, <laughs> Holy forced. Every time it seemingly all came crumbling down. It was because I was a f***ing liar and scamming people. Weird. Something greater has always been born in its place. Closing out the year, I got the wind at my back, the love in my heart, and the fire f***ing energy in my soul to crush every day, to learn, to grow, to be better. Wishing you and yours, haters and all, the most dominant 2024 ever. If you wish me the most dominant 2024 ever, it includes you going out of business and summarily walking off to nowhere, never being seen again. You don't want to wish me all the goals that I want in a dominant 2024. I promise you, Liver King. Guys, the Liver King is not a real person. There is a borderline sociopath 
named Brian Johnson. I am inclined to believe he lives on a mega ranch from his millions and millions in Texas, where he uses steroids to look like he does, and he lifts weights to look like he does, and then he makes tons of TikTok content to convince young, supple minds, not like you, you guys are f***ing smart, to buy his bullshit supplements and whatever the f*** else he sells so that he can make money and have actual nice things like high-end liquor. And uh, that's the reality of social media today. No worse than it ever was, but shit just bees like it is. So I wish you guys the skepticism and peace of mind to be able to judge propositions that he makes accurately, deflecting those that are incorrect, accepting those tentatively that are correct, and just being f***ing smart, not becoming a mark-ass bitch, to quote Tupac. I rate the Liver King a scumbag cocksucker out of 10. I've been Dr. Mike. I'll see you guys next time. All right, that was fun, I guess. That video right there, YouTube thinks you should click on it, and I agree, because it's probably one of our videos, and it'll make us more money. Isn't money great? Especially when I have it. See you guys next time.